Hi, my name's Simon from Motodrome. Now, today we're going to take a walk around and a drive of this uh, 1983 VW Golf 1.8 GTI Mark 1 that you can see lurking behind me here. Two videos, one walk around, one driving, plus a bit of engine starting and idling action at the end of both the videos. Hope you like them. Okay, let's take this uh, Golf 1.8 GTI Mark 1 for a spin. Showing just under 90,000 miles. No idea if that's genuine or not. Um, but if it is, it is a nice low mileage for one of these. And uh, appears to be completely standard with the exception of a modern Kenwood stereo. Let's find my window. It's almost a bit chilly today. This is what hot hatches should be like still. Small, light, just enough power. One thing this has got, you can just tell when you're idling, the exhaust perhaps needs to be rehung slightly because you can, just when it's idling, you can often hear it sort of resonating against the body. And just when I'm changing gear there, I suspect the exhaust is sitting just a little bit too uh, too high. But really lively performance. Gear change is nice. Five-speed box on this one being a slightly later car. Four speeds are very hard to find them. And no power steering on this one.
So, I think there we have it. My name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495, or you can go to our website, which is www.moto drone.com, for any more information. Okay, quick video of start up and idling on this uh, 1983 Golf. personal life though that you could probably hear just when I was turning the starter motor over the exhaust is banging on the body shell just when you start it and idling um, needs to be rehung very slightly I think that's about it anyway so look under the bonnet idles a little bit high but no funny noises shouldn't be there. Just uh, gets on with what it's supposed to do. Oh, so I think there we have it.